drinks the blood off my toga. This play is presented with apologies to William Shakespeare and Sir Francis Bacon, just in case. Rome, 44 B.C. My name is Flavius Maximus. I'm a private Roman eye. My license number is IXIVLLCCDIXMV. Also comes in handy as an eye chart. Tonight I'm going to tell you about the Julius Caesar caper. It all began during the Ides of March. I was in my office. I just sent another criminal to jail, Suetonius the Gladiator. He'd been fixing fights at the Colosseum. Had a crooked lion that kept taking a dive. Anyway, as I was sitting there, my secretary walked in. Morning, Flavius. Here's the mail. Easy with those marble postcards. Break my table. Anything else, baby? Yeah, there's somebody outside to see you. Seems awful excited about something. Okay, show him in, doll. Would you come in, sir? Thank you, miss. You, Flavius Maximus, Private Roman I? Yeah, what's in your mind? Just a minute. Are we alone? Yeah, we're alone. Are you sure we're alone? Yeah, I'm sure we're alone. Are you positive we're alone? I'm positive we're alone. Well, who's that standing beside you? That's you. I know, but can I be trusted? I could see I was dealing with no ordinary man. This guy was a nut. All right, what's on your mind? Flavius Maximus, a terrible thing has happened. It's the greatest crime in the history of Rome. All right, give it to me straight. What's up? Julius Caesar has been murdered. Julius Caesar murdered? I couldn't believe my ears. Big Julie was dead. Yeah, he was killed just 20 minutes ago. Happened in the Senate. He was stabbed. Stabbed? Yeah, they got him right in the rotunda. Oh, that's a painful spot. I had a splinter there once. Yeah. Oh, those marble splinters, you know. Boy, I tell you, all of Rome is in an uproar. And I came to you because you are the top private eye in Rome. You've got to find the killer. Well, I'll try. Oh, you can do it. After all, you're the guy who got Nero. You sent him up on that arson wrap. Uh, Nero, the whole town was sure burned up about him, eh? <laughs> you get it? Oh, holy Jupiter. Well, look, what do you say, Flavius? Will you take the case? Just a minute, Pally. I'd like to know who I'm working for. Just who are you? I'm a senator. I was Caesar's best friend. The name is Brutus. Brutus, eh? All right, Brutus, you got yourself a boy. I'll take the case. My fee is 125 drachmas a day. Payable in advance. Okay, here you are. You're one short. <laughs> hey, you got a good ear. When it comes to money, perfect pitch. Let's go, eh? All right, let's go. We went outside, flagged a passing chariot, and made our way down the Via Appia. The streets were crowded with the usual people, slaves, legionaries, patricians, and little men who came out of doorways and sold you postcards from Gaul. Before long, we found ourselves at the Senate. Flavius, this is where it happened This is where Big Julie got knocked out Yeah, now where's the corpus delecti? The what? Corpus delecti What's the matter? Don't you understand plain Latin? The body Oh, the stiff Yeah Oh, he's laying right over there Wow, Eight daggers in him Yeah, what do you think? If he were alive today, he'd be a pretty sick boy yeah. He's really fixed for blades, eh? <laughs> uh, come on, Flavius, you gotta solve this crime. All right, all right, fill me in on the setup here. Now, who are those guys over there? They were all here when it happened. That's Publius, that's Casca, there's Trebonius. I see. Who's that guy over there with the lean and hungry look on his kisser? That's Cassius. Yeah? Looks like a loser from the Colosseum. Yeah. <laughs> now, who do you think is the likeliest suspect? That fella next to him. Wait a minute, that's you. I know, but can I be trusted? <laughs> I could see I was dealing with no ordinary case. This was a mental case. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, who's the dame? Well, that's Caesar's wife. Her name is Calpurnia. Yeah, well, she's a suspect. Sure. Just a minute. Pardon me, uh, Mrs. Caesar? Yes? Flavius Maximus, Private Roman I, I'd like to ask you a few questions. What do you know about this? I told him. I told him, Julie, don't go. What? Julie, don't go. I told him. No, he wouldn't listen Now, look, to Mrs. Me. Caesar, if I... I told him once, I told him a thousand times, Julie, don't go. Now, please, don't upset yourself. I begged him, don't go. I told him, Julie, don't go. I said, it's the Ides of March. Beware of 
you're ready. Yeah. But would he listen to his All wife? Right, no. Take it, Sergeant, would you take Mrs. Caesar home, please? Come along, man. Come along. I told him, Julie, don't go. I don't blame him for going. All right, you senators. You can go, too, but don't leave town. Well, what do you think? I don't know. Not an angle anywhere. Not a clue. Well, cheer up, Flavius. After all, Rome wasn't built in a day. Hey, uh, what was that? I said Rome wasn't built in a day. Hey, that's, that's very good. Rome wasn't built in a day. That's very good. You like it? Yeah. It's yours. Thanks. <laughs> well, let's reconstruct the crime. Now, Caesar was over here right at... Right over here. Shh. What's the matter? matter? Somebody behind that pillar. Oh, I'll go get him. Shh. Right. All right, buddy. Oh, 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 stop it. All right, Buster. What are you doing hanging around here? Well, why shouldn't I? I'm Mark Antony. Mark Antony? Yeah, I just made a speech over the body of Caesar. I said, friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. Yeah? What do you got in that sack? Ears. <laughs> you get out of here. Well, wait a minute. Don't you want to know who bumped off Julius Caesar? Yeah. You know who did it? Not with it. What's his name? His name is... Ah! Oh, oh, it's a funny name. Must be Greek. No, look. He's dead. What a confusing case. All I got for clues is two dead bodies and a sack full of ears. Now, look, Flavius, I'm paying you 100 drachmas a day. 125 drachmas. All right, you got a good ear. I got a sack full of good ears. Now, look, look. Let's have some action here, eh? All right, all right. Don't get your toga in a knot. Listen, I got a pal. Yeah? Claudius. Yeah. Runs a bar on the Via Flaminia. He should have a few answers for me. Hey, that's the idea. Get out among the people. Ask questions. After all, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Hey, uh... What was that one? What was that one? I said, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. Oh, that's, that's very good. When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Very good. You like it? Yeah. It's yours. Thanks. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Claudius's bar and grill is a hangout where I get all the answers. It's just a small place with a few tables and a guy in the corner playing a cool reed pipe. Hiya, Flav. Hi, Claude. What's new? Nothing much. What are you drinking? Give me a martinis. <laughs> you mean martini. If I want two, I'll ask for them. <laughs> Look, I, uh, I'm working on this Julius Caesar kill. You know anything? Try that dame over there. Yeah? Yeah. All right, sister, start talking. I told him, Julie, don't oh, go. No. Julie, don't oh, go. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, look, uh, Flavius, I uh, think I know the guy you're looking for. You mean Mr. Big? Yeah. His name is... <laughs> now, that's an interesting name. You got a chisel? I'd like to write it down. <laughs> Claudius? Claudius! I would never get any more conversation from him. He was dead. This was shaping up bigger than I thought. Suddenly I looked up and there was Brutus. Hello, Flavius. Brutus, what are you doing here? Hey, I was looking for you. Hey, who's that on the floor? Claudius, the bartender. Hey, that's a funny place for him to carry a knife in his back. He's dead. He was stabbed through the portico. Hey, that's even more painful than the road. Yeah. <laughs> well, have you come up with any answers? Who killed Julius Caesar? I started to think, and slowly the pieces fell into place. Brutus was the only man around when all those guys got killed. Caesar, Anthony, the bartender, Brutus was always there. Things were beginning to add up. I put two and two together, and it came out IV. <laughs> it was time to make my move. Well, have you come up with any answers? Who killed Julius Caesar? Only one guy could have done it. Yeah? Who? Let's not play games, Brutus, or should I say Mr. Big? What are you getting at? If the sandal fits, wear it. You knocked off Big Julie. <laughs> You're out of your head. I hired you to find the killer. Pretty smart, but not smart enough. All right, are you going to talk, or do I have to call in a couple of centurions to lean on you? All right, that's what I did it. I admit it. I knocked off Big Julie, and I'd do it again. That's all I want to know. I'm sending you up to Tiber for a long stretch. <laughs> Come on, I'll call a chariot, and we'll go downtown. Don't move unless you want a dagger and a toga. What? I'm getting out of here. Don't try to stop me. He had to drop on me, and I couldn't stop him, but I knew where he was heading. 
for the scene of the crime, the Senate. And 15 minutes later, I pulled up in my chariot. Tiberius? Tiberius, hand me that ram's horn. Here you are, Flav. All right, Brutus. This is Flavius Maximus. I know you're in there. Come on out. Come and get me, I'll get her out, Blackfoot. <laughs> you haven't got a chance, Brutus. I've got the Senate surrounded with a stake out. Now throw your sword down. Come on out with your hands up. Come and get me. It's smart, Brutus. We can smoke you out. We'll throw incense. <laughs> we'll throw in an onion on a spear. <laughs> One false move and I'll fill you full of bronze. All right. All right, you got me, Shamus, but I'll be back. No, no, you won't. This isn't a series. What? It's just one little LP. Don't worry. I'll be back. Just remember one thing. All roads lead to Rome. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Bring him back. What? 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 Wait, now, that one was a dandy. What? All roads lead to Rome. That is, that's the best. You know that? Do you like it? Yeah. Well, you can't have it. I'll get it. Good work, Flavius. All Rome salutes you. Hail, Flavius! Hail, Flavius! Thanks, boys. And now, if you'll excuse me, I got a date with a doll. Okay, baby, I'm ready. Now, you're sure your husband doesn't object? Well, frankly, I don't care. I told him, Julie, don't stop. Julie, don't stop. 